I'm Dana Roselli. Right now in your 13 Action News update, a state lawmaker has introduced a bill to ban brothels in Nevada. Senator Joe Hardy says the brothels have no place in our state. He says they attract women with few economic options and calls the brothel industry abusive. While sex workers and brothel backers have promised to fight Senator Hardy's bill, they argue a ban would hurt struggling rural economies and drive women into dangerous street prostitution. Well, Nevada lawmakers are debating a bill for a specialty license plate aimed at honoring the victims of the 1 October shooting. The plate would be designed to raise funds for those impacted by the tragedy. Money from the plates would eventually be distributed to the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center. Renderings of the proposed plate have not been released just yet. Well, Democrat Beto O'Rourke is making his stop in Nevada this weekend. It's part of the tour of early voting in swing states. The 2020 presidential candidate will meet with voters on Sunday. He's also going to have one event at a taco shop and another at a coffee house. We do have a link on our website with all the exact locations and times. We are looking at a pretty nice Friday, a pretty breezy Saturday, but a pretty nice Sunday. All in all, a decent weekend ahead. Upper 60s this Friday afternoon with plenty of sunshine. High temperatures pushing into the upper 60s in most neighborhoods. Tonight, uh, mainly clear sky dropping down to the upper 40s and low 50s. Saturday afternoon, we're in the low 70s, but the wind will range from 20 to 30 miles per hour. Sunday looks like a calm day with sunshine and a high of 72. Hey, Dana, despite some clouds next week, we'll be even warmer near 80 degrees on Tuesday. Mm, can't wait. Well, that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnv.com, and our free mobile app. Have a great day, everyone.